Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a Fear of the Walking Dead video for today. I want to give my thoughts to a sort of Q&A because this weekend we have of course the premiere for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3. Now's not the time for fear. That comes later. Well, tomorrow. Movie, what movie? You write in the comments below if you know. You guys know I'm a big Batman fan. Come on, someone's got to know. Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3 premiere this weekend. Very excited for it. Going to get a double premiere tomorrow night, so very happy for that. First question for this one came from King McLean, who says, Hey, Trev, if fear was produced first... Do you think it would be as successful as the original Walking Dead? Great question from Kim. As well as if you guys have any questions for another Q&A tomorrow before uh, Fear's uh, double premiere, send them to me so we can do one last final uh, Fear Q&A before the uh, premiere for Season 3. Of course, after the premiere, we'll do all the... Um, usual stuff we'll do the uh you know reviews and predictions and all that great stuff it'll be lots of fun uh and it's going to be great to have the series uh, finally back on again now over the course of the summer with a uh, nice double premiere it'll be sweet to get it going so uh from kim great question really want to get my thoughts on this one you guys can write your comments below so here's the hypothetical if fear of the walking dead was on first and the walking dead did not exist yet or the tv series had not hit yet how do we think fear would have been received? That's the question. So what would people think for fear? So AMC, let's say it started at the same time Walking Dead started, which was, what, 2010? Uh, if memory serves me, I could be wrong. So something like that. So if it started roughly in 2010, in, in October, uh, Halloween, let's say, um, you know, how would it have been received in the first six episodes after Fear and then into the second season and finally now getting into the third season? So for the first two seasons really is what you're asking. And you guys can write your comments below. Let me know what you think on how Fear would have been received if The Walking Dead had not hit first. So AMC already had, you know, it was a pretty big network. They had had Breaking Bad. They had had some other hits, Mad Men and, and the few shows like that that have done pretty well for them. They've never had a The Walking Dead before. The Walking Dead is the biggest series they've ever had. It might be the biggest series they ever will have. We'll see uh, in terms of you know what it's produced and everything and getting those kind of ratings and views into the upwards of over 15 million views, 17 million, you know, setting huge records uh, that we have not seen really any other show I can think of posting those kind of results on a network that is not like right after football or something. Uh, it's just really unheard of to see a scripted series get those kind of ratings. is really crazy. So would Fear the Walking Dead have had as much success as The Walking Dead has by itself if it hit first? I don't think so. So we were that many uh, years into Fear. A um, couple problems with this one I have. The first one is, now I do like Fear. I'm not going to sit here and just bash the hell out of Fear just, to, you know, just for whatever. But... Um, I do, so I do like Fear, but I don't see Fear as being in the same level as the original Walking Dead series. There's, there's a few things. So the first season starts off six episodes of Fear. Uh, the premiere in that. So the premiere did really well for Fear. It got over 10 million uh, views right away. So it did really great at the beginning. And then a lot of viewers started to drop off on Fear. So Fear chooses to start it just as kind of like the outbreak is beginning to occur. And it's kind of like regular life. And, and that's fine for our characters long term because then we get to see what it's like before the zombie apocalypse. And then as we get into it, it's kind of cool because we had some understanding of what it was like before and who they are and everything in regular life before zombie apocalypse life and they only have really one chance of doing that after that they could only do it in flashbacks or something which doesn't really make sense so it makes sense for that series if they started it at a different part and if they handled the first season it could work uh you know pretty well maybe not as well as the original walking dead but decently well the problems i have with the first season is in the first couple episodes it doesn't grab the viewer nearly like the walking dead did at least for me and, and i know for a lot of you guys have seen in comments as well too it just doesn't grab people at the beginning the same way i think it's because of the pacing the first few episodes you have uh you know very little in the way of action or special Spectacle. You have a lot of very drama-based storytelling, which is fine, and it's great for characters, but it's not going to have that wow factor that's just going to grab your viewer, suck them in, get them glued, 
and then you know get into some character dev uh, afterwards. The Walking Dead originally, I feel like it has a really great uh, kind of X factor or pull for people, even in the premiere. You know, you, and Frank Darabont did a really good job with this one as well. As of course, we got to give Kirkman credit because originally it's his storyline uh, and his story from the comics. So you have like you know, uh, little girl zombie. Um, you know, you, you kind of have that right away, and they, and they put that in there on purpose to get people to watch. You know, it's like, okay, th- this is something you're going to want to watch. You know, here's a little girl. She's got bunny slippers on. She's got a teddy bear, and she's going to try and eat your face. Um, so you got you to gotta hook. you got to grab. you got to, okay, you're a viewer. You're a channel server and whatever. No, you're not. You're watching this shit right here because this is cool, right? And, um, you know, and it mixes in the stuff with Shane and Rick and beforehand, and then as things are happening and that, you see him wake up. It just has a really great grab i think similar to uh, 28 days later where you have your main lead and i don't even remember his name now wakes up and he's kind of like you know a zombie apocalypse has occurred or a rage virus has spread they're not they're fast zombies they're not exactly zombies they're like speed zombies so to speak um so yeah so so that's my issue with it is at the beginning it doesn't have the same kind of pop or the same kind of wow factor that you would need to have in order to get people invested it's too slow to start now you know that's okay for a companion series it would not be okay for a new series when it comes to premieres of new series you really need to grab those viewers you need to get them invested you need to get them to care about those characters and go on through also i don't feel like there's a single character in fear that i care about nearly as much as i did even after two seasons of the walking dead i cared more in the walking dead for shane uh, Rick and you know even some of the others Glenn and some of the other characters that were there I felt like we as a viewer we generally cared a lot more as an audience for Rick and getting to see him reunited with Carl and Lori and getting to see some of those crucial uh, character moments you know in the first couple seasons there to really grab us now they've done good in fear with a few characters I really like what they've done with Travis you know putting him into kind of a um, Maybe a Shane S type of, of role, but kind of it, kind of like a, a, a Rick flipped around sort of. Well, I don't know. He, he's unique, so I don't really want to say he's uh, he's the opposite of any exactly of any of our characters from The Walking Dead. But I really like what they did with him at the end of season two. I felt like that was something that could really grab you as a viewer and get people invested. Kind of similar to the death of Shane in season two. Whoops, spoiler warning for The Walking Dead, right? Um, so that was really good stuff, and they've done some other really cool stuff, like um, you know they've they've handled Nicholas really well had him kind of go in with the zombies and that so i feel like season two they made some really good strides they had the abigail and stuff with that and there's some things in there that could have been really really good uh near the end of season one a few episodes in we get into kind of like the army military being there the zombie outbreak starting to occur more and um you know it's been pretty solid as well but the thing is like i feel it didn't have that pop at the beginning and it also did it doesn't have as good of characters i want to say in fear the characters are pretty good but they're a little bit flat with the exception for me of travis and uh, nicholas well the walking dead i never really felt that way i always felt a strong attachment to the characters there and did care when certain characters were killed off even like shane or you know characters like uh, like that so they did a really good job so so i would say that no, almost no matter what i don't think fear it, even if it was first would have been as big as the walking dead is uh, because of those reasons you guys can list others below if you think or if you disagree that's cool too you can write your comments below and let me know why you think that fear of the walking dead would be even bigger than the walking dead had it started first i just personally i don't see it it's uh, it doesn't have it, it's a good formula but it doesn't have an amazing formula like i feel like the walking dead you know has had to become what the walking dead has become where you can buy walking dead monopoly games and whatever the hell else they sell nowadays for walking dead nerf guns right uh you know it's just crazy stuff so write your comments below let me know what you guys uh, think and great question thanks kim uh argued worm 6669 says hey Trav, <laughs> when do you think daniel is going to come back and fear the walking dead do you think we will see him in season three so uh from what i've heard from interviews and this kind of thing we are going to see daniel again it's kind of been unofficially confirmed uh and it sounds like we might see him early on season three this season in the first few episodes so we'll have to see when he kind of pops back in but um so far as i know he's going to return um we'll see but that's what I've heard from interviews in that. Uh, Mr. Adrenaline1982 says, I think more of Madison's villainous side will come out at the ranch, setting up her group's future as a group of bad guys. Hell, maybe Madison will take over and the Brokejaw Ranch could be the sanctuary to her Negan. Um, 
That's really cool. I like your comment. And, you know, I do think that could be a pop right there or kind of a something that could grab people for Fear of the Walking Dead, which is you just simply have them be a group of villains, right? And we kind of we kind of seen that already with Travis. You know, we've seen that already with Travis where he kills the two guys. Um, and it's just in such in such brutal fashion, you know, that's very Negan-esque to beat guys to death <laughs> you know, like that. Blood everywhere, the whole bit. You can see the similarities between uh, getting loose sealed and what Travis did to those two. So uh, I agree with you, man. That would be cool. And it would be cool to have a female lead as a villain. Someone like Madison would be really, really cool. So uh, I would love to see that, man. And that could be kind of your... Because you need, you need something to make it very different from the original Walking Dead. You can't really have a Rick Grimes for fear. You know, Travis cannot really be a Rick Grimes in Fear of the Walking Dead. They have to be unique. And having Madison be kind of a lead could be really cool, and I think she might be up for it. Also, there's kind of the fan theory. It's kind of my theory, to be honest, (laughs) that uh, Madison may have actually killed her husband before, and maybe he did not, you know, accidentally kill himself, or it wasn't, you know, like a suicide or accidental thing, that kind of thing. Maybe she actually did that. So uh, if we're right, then she was kind of evil to start. And, you know, it's just gotten worse as the zombie. Because she she kills Celia with almost no qualms about it, right? She doesn't make um, a big fuss about it or have a lot of... Uh, it doesn't seem to be a struggle for her. She kind of just does it, and it's not a big deal So uh, for her. Which would tell me that maybe she's killed before. You would think most people would struggle with that greatly. Um, so I think that would be really cool, uh, Mr. Adrenaline. And, and we'll see what they do with Madison. But, yeah, I think the group of bad guys idea for fear is what they need to do just to differentiate from the original series and that would be awesome uh we'll do one or two more radical zed says hey trev uh, thanks for all the awesome fear the walking dead the walking dead game of thrones videos since um the walking dead season seven finished over a month ago my question is who do you think is more badass at this point uh nick uh or travis in fear the walking dead or rick and daryl in the walking dead as of the end of season so as of the end of season two so rick and daryl at the end of season two daryl was pretty badass and i don't think either of those two could mess with daryl you know uh and his ability his skills with the crossbow and and just his tracking and everything daryl is like a super badass survivor so i don't think you can really put Nick or Travis in the same league as him, even at the end of season two. Uh, Rick, you know, very similar. The end of season two, he has to kill Shane. It's a big twist for him. He's really good with with, uh, the Colts. He's really good with guns. You know, he's a trained officer, of course, as well. And Nick and Travis are really cool. Nick could be pretty good because, of course, he can kind of blend in with the dead, which is really sweet. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't say either one are are in the same kind of league as Rick or Daryl at this point. And last one will be from Negan, the awesome psychopath, who says, Hey, Trev. Uh, the crew and cast promoted Fear the Walking Dead Season 3 as the Mexican border season. Could that imply we spend the entire season of Season 3 at and around the border of Mexico? Also, uh, Jake Otto is the kid that uh, Madison stabs in the trailer. I think uh, from the inside, uh, look, he kind of uh, looks like an a-hole, cocky uh, sort of guy. And Jeremiah Otto is the guy who said, Welcome to America, to Ophelia, uh, Ophelia at the end of Season 2. Um, so that's kind of cool. I'll have to uh, kind of... Uh, i got to watch the last um, couple episodes of Season 2 again because it's been a bit. So i got to get caught up for tomorrow night, and I'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow morning uh, before and just kind of get ready for that so I can kind of see. Um, but that's kind of cool if he was in Season 2. I didn't notice that at all. So a uh, nice catch if that's true. Um, with regards to the first one, I think you're right as well, too. I think that Madison might be stabbing him in the eye, which uh, is, is pretty badass, <laughs> to be honest. So it could be a Season 3 border season. We'll see how they what they do with the season and if they stay there. Strand is there, so they can't leave too far unless they want to leave him stranded. Um, I don't know, it just kind of came to me. Uh, otherwise, you know, they kind of have to be there if he's going to be there and they want to keep the group together or have them reunite at some point. Anyway, that'll be it for this one today, guys. Uh, if you missed it earlier, did a uh, Negan video on a new uh, issue. Uh, here's Negan. Uh, so his very first Lucille kill. Very cool. It's in the channel now. Check it out. Check back again tomorrow and send me those questions for the fear uh, Q&As leading up to the premiere tomorrow night. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumb it up below. You can also share. You can favorite if you're new and you want to subscribe. Bottom left, click the button to subscribe. If for this one, see you guys again soon for another. It's Trap. Saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon. You better subscribe.